Hello, it's Alexa Zero, and I'm making another tutorial. It's been quite a while since I made another one, since I made one, but oh well. So this one is for the Skyrim Creation Kit. It is for figuring out, or not figuring out, making a teleport spell. Yeah, it's just a basic teleport spell. It's uh, pretty much a introduction to the main new thing that has changed with Papyrus, the new scripting, scripting language, from the construction set to the creation kit. And, you know, I mean, it's really, it's pretty easy to understand, but actually knowing that it exists and you need to do it is kind of hard to figure out. It took me a while to figure it out. Um, the main thing is that you can't access references directly from inside a script anymore. You have to link it with a property with an object reference property, which I'll show you. It's really not that hard. So, pretty much, if we're going to make a spell, all we got to do is just, you know, just a basic spell. Just add a new one here. Yeah, there's a lot of options here, and you can... Blah, 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 blah. I'm actually going to... I'm going to copy one, because I don't feel like doing all this stuff. Um, That looks like a good one. No. Do, 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 do. Uh, wait, no, not paralysis. Here we go. Restore health self. So let's open it up. All right. So you can see that it's already got all the all the stuff here, and if you can you can fiddle with this if you want. But I'm going to change it to suit my needs. I'm gonna call it um, Z zero. I don't know, teleport test. And then, yeah, Z0, so that it orders alpha numerically, so hit Z0 will be the first thing there. This is the description of what's going on. We don't need these anymore. Um, don't need this, or this, or this. Okay. Um, Alright, that works. So, pretty much now what we want to do is this, oh wait, change this to a script. Fire and forget, self, restoration, doesn't matter, I'll change it to alteration. Um, okay, so now just need to add a script here. Then eventually, here we go, this thing will pop up. Say new script, and then name your script here. Um, I'm gonna Zero. Uh, oops. Teleport test script, and this extends active magic effect, which is correct because we're doing a magic effect. You can add documentation here if you want. I don't feel like it. Give it three years because this is slow. All right. So now you've got. Now we have our new script over here. Right-click on it and hit Edit Source. You can edit it in an external editor if you really want to. That's just kind of a hassle. So now this is our. This is our basic script. Script name. This is a script. Extends active magic effect. You can look up the the extend extending and whatnot is is well documented on the well documented on the creation kit wiki. I don't need to explain it here. So what we want to do is make an object reference, which is an object reference. Duh. Property. I can type. Um, let's call it tele tele destination and then auto. So now we have a um, a object reference property that's called tele de tele destination. So now we want an event. I'm going to say on effect uh, finish. It's just whenever this spell effect finishes. Um, then, oops, actor targets, actor caster, and event. Then target dot move to tele destination. That's the entirety of the script. It should compile successfully. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's it's really it's a very simple thing. Um, now we close this. Now the part that's different is if you double click here, it opens up the properties. It has our object reference tele destination here. This is the biggest part. You can't access since you can't access references in cells without this. You have to do this. So you hit edit. And then you can pick a reference in the random window. I don't know. I haven't used that. So pretty much, let's say we want to move to light run. So I want to right run exterior. Light run. Um, 
edge marker ref. You know, I mean, if you can add X markers or whatever and then name them and whatnot, and they'll be in here. This is how you use them. And then, so now this is set. Hit OK. That changes to that thing. And now that's done. That's the biggest part right there. And oh yeah, I'm making a form. That's the that's the hardest part. That took me the longest to figure out. And I guess I was just stupid or missed it or something. So let's just make a new spell to add it. Uh, all right, spell fire and forget self. Doesn't matter. No dual cast. Then add our teleport test. Now make sure you have a duration of at least something, otherwise it probably won't work. And that's annoying, because it... yeah. And then do this, and now you have your spell. Um, then, you all, then all you have to do is go into Skyrim, open up the uh, console, type in help, and then teleport, and you'll see this. And you can do a player.add spell with the, uh, with the name there. Pretty simple. Kind of a beast to figure out on your own. It's really annoying, and I really think that Bethesda should have documented this better. You know, provided a manual of how to use all this crap, but whatever. I guess that's what the community's for. So, anyway, of course, save it. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. If you've got any questions, um, send me a message on, like, the Nexus or YouTube or, or something. I don't know. So, yeah. Hope this was useful.